just looking here at my uh, solar oxygenator pump it's just arrived from China cost me about forty dollars Australian and what does it say it's got a pump with a, a built-in lithium battery and it has two speed two speeds to control the air the air, two speeds yes for the air anyway there's the little air stone that you uh, makes all the bubbles there's the tubing for the air stone that comes from the pump to the air stone and here's the little solar panel well it seems to be made of plastic or something well I mean it's not glass so I don't have to worry about breaking it but it doesn't look like it would uh, stand too much rough treatment there's the wire that you plug into the uh, pump I'll plug it in tomorrow in the sunshine now it says uh, it has a lifetime of what 10,000 hours now why is it got a limited why has it got a limited lifetime is it because this solar panel has only got a limited lifetime or is it because the solar battery uh, I mean the lithium battery has only got a limited lifetime anyway it's interesting 10,000 hours well if I think about it that could be 10,000 days or 10,000 days at one hour couldn't it or it could be what 5,000 days at two hours because if I think about it an air pump for a little watercress pond doesn't really have to be on 24 hours a day does it seven days a week it doesn't have to be anyway it's something anyway to try it and have fun with what else does it say turn off the oxygen pump when charging yes the charger and the pump don't work at the same time obviously so anyway that will be fun to have a go at it the uh, charge controller will automatically shut down when the battery is full well that's something to have fun with anyway it is I could put it in my window to charge it couldn't I and it doesn't have to be used 24 7 to keep the watercress we just have to uh, make sure that the water doesn't go stagnant so that will be fun and a quick look at the underside of this pump looks like you can suspend the pump you can hang it so the pump has got a battery in it and and there's the pipes and everything and the switch here or something I'll work it all out and see how it goes anyway well here we are there's the little solar panel being charged for the first time it's in the morning sunlight it's got to be out here for some hours though if we're going to get six hours of charge and there's the pump with the lithium battery in it it can't be used until it's charged so when it's charged I'll move it over here and see what happens and see whether it can replace or be you know be realistically used to uh, give my watercress some nice oxygenated water just looking here at the solar cell in the morning sunlight and here's the little pump itself and it's got two speeds that's the that's the on off switch but it's also high and low speed so you've got two speeds as well so that should be fun to try out and yes because this little solar cell is so flimsy and everything and it's just got to soldered on and everything and held on with plastic and solder I think I'll, I'll put that in a picture frame with a sturdy frame and then it won't be so liable to break will it that would be a good idea to ensure anything can happen in the wind or anything can't it or a, a cat or possum could knock it so if it's uh, surrounded by a good sturdy frame that will ensure that it doesn't get broken or, or wrecked or, or that the wires come apart getting a full charge of morning sun here now and the leaves are collecting some sun too that's nice watercress leaves absorbing the sunshine and nicely oxygenated 
as a solar panel in the sunshine, absorbing energy and turning it into electricity. That's good. Have a sun bath. This is the electric pump connected to the mains. Now let's take it out and see what the little solar pump is like by comparison. Okay, just trying to turn the solar pump on. Well, that seems pretty good, doesn't it? It's got two speeds, let's see. I'm not sure if there's that much difference. Perhaps a little. Well, that looks pretty nice. Let's hope the watercress like it. Now run by solar power. A couple of hours a day would keep the uh, water from going stagnant. It doesn't have to run 24 hours a day to be oxygenated. Thanks for watching.